Hi there, let's look at some shortcut keys that are going to save you from having to click and drag to select a range. So now you can say goodbye to the times when you seem to be clicking and dragging for such a long time and then your mouse takes off on you and you select 20 more rows than you actually needed. So annoying. <laughs> These shortcuts will save you a huge amount of time and frustration when you are selecting your data. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward tips and guidance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your skills using Office apps. I love shortcuts. If there's a quick and easy way that will save me time, I'll use it. And learning these shortcuts definitely saves me a lot of time. Now in this video, I'm going to run through a fistful of shortcuts that will have you selecting only the data that you need super quick. I'm also going to share with you a fabulous duo of shortcuts that are a combo of moving and selecting your data without having to click and drag. And to offer you even more support, I'll tell you where you can grab a copy of our best Excel shortcuts cheat sheet with 70 plus shortcuts that many Excel users use repeatedly. Right, let's talk about some shortcuts to use when you're selecting data because we do a lot of selecting in Excel and this is going to save you so much time. So I'm just going to click into this data area up here and I want to talk to you about probably one of the best shortcuts that I use like you wouldn't believe. It's Control A. So I'm pressing down my Control key, pressing A and what that does is it looks at the data and it looks at all of the adjacent cells around the cell that you're currently clicked on and it highlights to the edges of the adjacent data. So what I mean by that is it will stop where it finds the first empty column and the first empty row. How easy was that? <laughs> so if you've got a massive big sheet of data, Control A, as long as you're actually inside of the data table, Control A will allow you to just select bang, just like that. Now, you may be familiar with Control A for another reason. It's called Select All and if you come out side of the data area and you select using control A you will select the entire worksheet so that's everything within the worksheet you've just gone across right to the last column and to the last row it's the same as when you click onto this button up here and select the entire sheet so if you're kind of wondering how come everything's selected it's possibly that you're not inside of a table of adjacent data as soon as you get into there control A will select everything okay so Let's talk about another selecting shortcut that I use like you wouldn't believe. This is your shift and your arrow keys. So if you're actually on a row or on a cell and you're wanting to select manually, not using your mouse but just using your keyboard, you can hold down your shift key and you can use your arrow key. So I'm hitting my right arrow, holding down my shift key at the same time and I'm just going across manually the number of cells that I want to highlight. Now if I keep on holding down my shift key and I use my down arrow, look at that, you can see that I'm manually painting over the area that I want to select. So this is fantastic because it allows you to very quickly increase or decrease the area that you've just selected because watch this, if I hold down my shift key and use my up arrow you can see that I'm adjusting the selected area. So you know when you do this, and <laughs> we all do it, when you actually go too far when you select with your mouse and you're like oh no, what you can do is you can hold down your shift key, use your up arrow to decrease the selected area instead of having to go right to the top again and reselect everything. How great is that, yeah? So at any time, if you want to just click onto the cell, hold down your shift key, use your arrow keys, I'm going to the right, I'm going down, I'm going left, I'm going up, to increase or decrease the selected area manually using your keyboard. Okay, now this is a key combination that I love. When we're working with our control key, if you've done the move shortcuts already, um, you'll know that if you use your control key and your arrow keys, you will bounce from point to point. So I'm actually using my control down arrow to get to the bottom of the list, control up arrow to get to the top of the list. Now I'm going to actually bring in the shift key with the control key. So watch this, shift control both at the same time down arrow and look at that you can select from the top of the list to the bottom of the list very very quickly so the shift is doing the selecting bit and the control is bouncing you from the top of the list to the bottom of the list watch this if I hold down my control key hit shift at the same time I'm hitting my right arrow this time and you'll see that it paints all the way across to column K it stopped at column K because of course there's an empty column right next door to it 
So what's happening there again, I'm actually using my control key to bounce right to the edge of the table and the shift is doing the select part at the same time. So that's gold because it doesn't matter where you are, you can do shift control down arrow, shift control across arrow, you easily just move your selections around where you want them to be. Okay, then you end up with, uh, well you kind of learn the shortcut and go fantastic, and then you end up going into a spreadsheet, something like this. <laughs> And you're like, okay, I'll use that shortcut that Sharon taught me. And of course you come up here and you're using your shift control, holding down control and shift at the same time and hitting my arrow keys. And look at that, it stops where there's an empty row. And you're like, oh no. Now you could actually just keep holding control and shift down and hitting your arrow keys and bouncing through. But when it's a really big spreadsheet, that can take a lot of time. So what you can do when you've got lots and lots of gaps is you can do something called a shift click. So what you do is you can actually come up, let's just say we wanted to select from A1 you start at the top left corner of where you're wanting to select, select that cell and then come down to the bottom right corner of the area that you're wanting to select. Now before you click, hold your shift key down on the keyboard, keep holding it down and click and hey presto, look at that, amazing. It will just select from point to point and of course everything has actually been selected including the empty rows. Now here's another hint. Or another shortcut. Let's say I wanted to get rid of some of these empty rows. At the moment I've selected one row and of course as you know if I come down to the next one that will actually then be selected. But I can actually click onto one row. Now I'm holding my control key down on the keyboard as I continue with my clicking. Holding the control key down, clicking, 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 still holding onto my control key and I'm doing what's called a multiple select. And you can do that for anything. Now if I actually um, go up and doesn't matter where I do this, I can do it on any row and select delete, I've deleted everything. So all of those rows have now been deleted. So it's a really quick way that I can just control click, control click, control click, control click and then delete and look at that, they have now disappeared. So you can use control clicking on anything. Say I wanted to actually have this and this and this a certain color. So I'll come over here and change the font and look at that. So it's fantastic if you're wanting to do a multiple select before you apply formatting or do something to modify your spreadsheet. Of course you can do it all at the same time which is fantastic. Okay I'm just going to come back to this spreadsheet. And I want to talk about Control Home. So if you've done the moving shortcuts, you would have learned already that Control Home will always take you up to A1. And I'm actually wanting to select all of the data within the worksheet. Now if I hold down my Shift key and hit Control and End at the same time, I'll select from the cell I'm on right to the end of the worksheet. So that you understand when we do a Control End, of course that will take us to where the last column, the intersection of the last column and the last row are. And the shift is what's actually doing the select. So if I come back down here, let's say I come down here, and if I do shift control home, it will select up in the opposite direction. So now I'm actually going all the way up to A1 from the point of the cell that I'm actually on at the moment. So that's fabulous if you wanted to do a quick, you know, copy and paste somewhere. It's a really quick way to select all of your data. Right, here's another couple of really useful shortcuts. This one here, if we do shift and space bar, you will select the entire row. So that's nice and easy, isn't it? And if we do control and space bar, you will select the entire column. Okay, here's another one that's fantastic. At the moment, we're just on this worksheet here, the selecting worksheet. But if I wanted to select all of my worksheets, I can actually hold down my shift key and my control key at the same time. So control shift, and I can use my page up and my page down. So because I'm going to the right here, page down, and you'll see I'm actually selecting every one of those worksheets now. So I've grouped them together. You can actually see up here that we're grouped. And of course I can ungroup them simply by just doing a right click and ungrouping from there. So if I was on this sheet and I wanted to select them, it would be control shift, page up, because I'm going to the left this time. It's so good. Right, let's ungroup them. Okay. Now this next shortcut that I want to share with you isn't really a keyboard shortcut, but it's really cool. <laughs> it's kind of a mixture of keyboard and mouse. So if you've done the moving shortcuts, you would have already uh, learnt that you can easily take your mouse pointer 
to the edge of a selected cell, make sure that your pointer looks like that compass pointer, the north, south, east, west. Um, we can actually see the same as what I'm showing you right now with those four little arrows on it. Now, when you're just wanting to move, you can just do a double click and it will actually move you in the direction of where you're actually clicking. So if I'm at the bottom of the cell and I'm clicking, I'll go to the bottom of the column. If I'm at the top of the cell, or the edge of the top of the cell, and click, I'll go to the top. And of course, you probably know already if you go to the right or to the left, it'll jump you to the edges of the uh, table of data. Now, you've already learned that the Shift key does selecting at the same time, right? So you've probably worked out where I'm going with this. So if I hold down my Shift key while I do that double click, look how great is that and of course I can then keep holding down my shift key look at that so you can easily use your shift key and your mouse to quickly select as well now when you're actually doing that oh by the way I'll just show you um, I'll come back over here hold down shift do a double click you can if you want to to bounce from point to point so I wanted to actually bounce to the bottom of the selected data without removing the selection you can hold down your control key and press the full stop key and it'll bounce you from point to point watch this control full stop and it'll just bounce you from point to point how great is that and if you've selected quite a bit of the data so I'm just going to hold down my shift key and do a double click to select the entire table you can hold down your control key and you can press that full stop or period and it'll jump you from each corner of the data how great is that so there you go that's a fistful of selecting shortcuts that are going to change your life if you get good at these you won't believe how much time you save when you're working in excel spreadsheets so i really hope one of these shortcuts is going to start saving you time now this video is one of a series on Excel shortcuts, so be sure to check out my other videos if you're keen to pop a few more tips into your Excel toolbox. And if you're keen to grab a copy of our best Excel shortcuts cheat sheet, just click the link in the description below to learn how to download your copy today. Now if these tips have been helpful, please hit the like button and please let me know in the comments below how many of these shortcuts you already knew and which ones you'll now be using on a regular basis. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because we're sharing new videos regularly and if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.